Welcome back, YouTubers. This is going to be a review of the Common Rider Gotcha Card Gotcha Caliber. I'm really unsure why they keep calling everything Caliber. I know it's a reference to Excalibur, but it seems like it's going to lose its meaning if they constantly do it over and over again. Uh, oh well. Such is life. Anyway, let's start this off. As you can see, there's the box and shows the T-Rex. Now, there was a promo UFO and a combo of five of the ten legendary X or te level 10 Kemis, but unfortunately I was not lucky enough to get it with my order. I've got one coming, but it's going to be a while before it shows up. So let's get into it. First things first, here we go. There's an on and off switch, but the way they did it is kind of odd. You have to flip this part open to get the battery compartment and turn it on and off. So, a little odd. There's the sound effects. Now, you slot a card in. Make sure you note that the arrow is pointed in. This one can be a little tricky. And that's for the lion card. Now if you put in any of the others, such as the T-Rex. The Beetle. And I think there's a slight color variation in this, but I think the slash effect is pretty much the same each time. Now if you take a regular chemi card like Hopper 1, Steam Liner. As you can see, the initial part where it says the name of the card uses the colors for the combo, but after that it goes into the same effect. And it does this for every single card. You don't get any other special variants from that even if you say use a writer card. Now that's the basic function of it when it's in sword mode, but you can combine it with the driver. It's an add-on and this is where I actually think it's the best. Now Whichever cards you use are pretty irrelevant because it'll just go over that, so watch. Now with the sword on the back, there are several release catches. One here, which releases the sword blade, but won't lock until you press this one and release this piece. Locks it in place. Then you've got a button right here hidden as this red key, which depresses this. 
Now until you do any, put a, do something else, it's pretty inanimate. I didn't do that quite right. All the finishers are basically the same, just replacing the name. Now, I don't recommend pushing them all the way in. It's a pain to get them out, and I don't... I haven't found anything that looks like an ejector on this. Now, here's the Legend card. If you put just a regular chemi card in, and that's the basics of 
the driver. It's a pretty good device. In order to release it, you also have to press this button. But the biggest problem I have with this piece is there doesn't appear to be any sort of card ejector or it. So if you push it all the way in, it can be a pain in the rear to get it out again. Now when you put it back down, this piece immediately pops out, and this one needs to be folded. It's a good toy. It's a little undersized, especially for what it is, but I kind of understand why they did it. If they make it any bigger, it would interfere with the buckle, and yeah, it would look stupid. I kind of wish there was an extension piece you could clip to this to make it longer, but as it is, it's perfectly fine. It's a one-handed sword, or more likely a dagger, but it's perfectly fine as is. And that's the basics on it. As I said, all the Rider cards and all the Kemi cards are going to work in it just fine. They're just not going to make anything special happen. And I don't know if there are any special combinations as of yet. I've toyed around with a few of them, but unfortunately, since there are no obvious ones, and I don't know any Japanese puns or gags that might be referenced, I'm not sure what would be there. Unfortunately, there's no bear card, so I would try that with the Televicoon card to see if it does anything with the gotcha driver, but unfortunately there isn't, so can't test that out. At any rate, that'll be all for now. But please like, subscribe, comment below, share this video, and I'll see you all on the next one. Ciao!